After last week's video, Manny told me that he was feeling quite exposed, uh, so I decided to do something about it. Anyways, on with this week's project. I'm going to be an audience member at my sister's wedding. She is marrying a Nigerian man, and they're having a traditional Nigerian ceremony. Now, I was given this outfit to wear, and it's way too big. It's many, many sizes too large. The right thing to do would be for me to take it apart, to cut it down to the right size, and then re-sew it together. But I've just got too much going on. I don't have time for that. I don't have time for that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick and dirty tailor job here. Test pins in. I tried it on. Um, a little tight under there. I might take in the sides a touch more though, maybe? What do we think? Is that going to work? I think I might just take it a little bit more under here. It's still a little flabby. So I adjusted the pins and tried it on again. Needles. Needles poking into me. Is it perfect? Nah, not really, but... Again, just a guest, happy attendee. Two handsome gentlemen. Two brutes. Uh, nope. Not really. But on with the sewing. Quick and dirty, my friends. Quick and dirty. Oh, I gotta put more pressure on. This is way too light. That's the problem. We need more foot pressure because this is a really thin fabric and last week it was a thick one. We need to do a little more pressure. There we go. I was also told that my, or this outfit was going to be a vibrant neon green. So thank the high heavens that didn't happen. That would have been an absolute atrocity. A Nigerian man getting married to a Mennonite woman. Whoever thought those two cultures would collide? Now allegedly, these are custom made outfits. Because I had to provide my measurements to my sister who passed them on to have this made. But if this is custom made, my measurements were more so suggestions than based on what they used to make this, uh, this garment. A supporting family member is what I am. You know what? That's good enough. This is no time to be picky. Feels all right, it doesn't feel too tight, doesn't feel too loose. Pants are a little bit better. So, last step is now the finishing details. So, maybe I'll just make this a montage scene. Considering where we started, fits much better. Is it perfect? No. Is it going to win awards? No. But hey, okay. Enough silliness. On to the wedding. We got ready at my sister's place and then headed over to the home of my brother-in-law's family. As soon as we got there. The mother-in-law saw the tailoring it had done and commented about how in Nigeria they like the clothing nice and loose. Uh, oops. Anyways, first we got an impromptu little dance from Grandma. And the ceremony itself was beautiful, it was serene, and had a touch of brevity. When the guy are getting really fuzzy with this, 
and really talking politics. Once they start drinking this, they talk politics. <laughs> and they become the president of the, of the country. <laughs> or the king in, or queen in England. I passed off my camera because I had a small role in the wedding. And of course, they messed it up. Just like I did in my small role. <laughs> I was only supposed to seat her once. Not three times. My bad. Anyways, we had a delicious dinner, also celebrated a birthday, some dancing ensued, and that was the end of our evening. <laughs>